Hi everyone, I know you don't know me, um, but my name is Kathy. My actual name is Catherine, but I like to go by Kathy. So I'm literally just gonna get right into this video. I'm doing a makeup tutorial, so... Well, a makeup get ready with me, not really a tutorial. Oh my god, ew. Don't mind my beauty blender, it's so nasty. But yeah, I'm using the Almay foundation. Um, I didn't really prime before the video, I just kind of moisturized. So that's why you see me actually just starting right into it. So yeah, um, now I'm just blending. I'm going to be blending for a little bit. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to let you know why I started YouTube in the first place. This is my first ever video. So if you're watching, thank you so much. Um, the reason why I did it is because I actually used to work as a pharmacy technician for CVS. And let me tell you that job is stressful. It is so stressful and I'm also doing school at the same time. I'm studying psychology. Um, I actually want to go into industrial organizational psychology. That's more like in the business realm of psychology. But anyways, um, here I'm just putting my little headband because I forgot to and my hair kept getting my face. But yeah, I'm going to start blending again. Yeah, uh, I left CVS because of the stress, and I just couldn't do it, girl. So we quit. But yeah, um, here I'm gonna start using the e.l.f. concealer. Um, I really don't actually like this concealer to use on my everyday makeup, but for the sake of this video, I am to just even out my eyes since we are doing a heavy eyeshadow look. The reason I don't like it is because it's a little bit too creamy and thick. So by like two hours or three hours, it's not looking so cute. Um, but here I'm just blending. I love taking my time to blend. So I sped it up for you guys. Um, I want to let you guys know that I'm not a professional makeup artist, nor am I one to give advice for makeup. But I'm just kind of doing this for fun and because I have like some extra free time on my hands since I did quit my job. Um, and I do enjoy doing it, it's just for fun, so if you're like, what the heck is this girl doing, like literally right now, I'm gonna put blush as like my third step in the makeup, don't pay attention to me, it's just, it's just for fun, it's just for vibes. Yeah, so now I'm just blending the brush that I, the blush <laughs> that I'm using. Um, I really like it because it's really pigmented. It, I think it's K Couture. I'm not really sure. I got it off of an Ipsy package, but I like it a lot. I use it on my everyday makeup. It lasts a really long time. All right, now my next step is eyebrows. Um, I'm just using Vaseline on the spoolie. To kind of get it to the shape that I want it to be at. I think my natural brows are pretty full. And they have a nice shape. So I don't really fill it in that much. I just kind of shape it the way that I want it to. And then with a Maybelline. Um, it's kind of like the Anastasia one. But it's Maybelline I think. I just kind of fill it in. You're going to see that it just makes it a little darker. Okay, so now we're going in with the James Charles palette. It's kind of the only palette that I have that has these like greenish colors or colors at all. So don't judge me for it. Um, I'm just going to tap it into the middle of my eyelid and then slowly blend it away because I don't want that harsh green. I kind of going for a little bit lighter than that. And yeah, just watch me blend it.
now I'm gonna go in with the lighter green in the James Charles palette and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner um, it looks kind of weird now but just trust the process it's gonna it's just blending together to get that lighter green that I'm going for yeah it looks looking better now Okay, so I did my second eye off camera because if you had to watch me blend for that long, I think you would have already left the video if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to go under my eye and my waterline, I think it's called, and I'm just putting that dark green in again um, to get my eyes more like a full look. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, to be honest. I didn't have a plan, I'm just kind of going with the flow. So that's why it's a little bit chaotic. But it comes together, I promise. Okay, so now using that same palette, I'm going in with that shimmery green that you see there. Um, I'm using like a flat brush to kind of just pat it on. At first, I, you're going to see that it doesn't really show, so I have to kind of layer it, layer it on there. That's why I make that face. <laughs> but yeah, um, just layering it and then it'll show. Okay, so now is my favorite part, mascara. I feel like this just ties in the whole look together because if not, it'll look crazy. But I'm using the Maybelline mascara. I use a lot of Maybelline. Oh my gosh. I'm using the Maybelline mascara. I really like this one because I feel like the brush really lifts my lashes. I think you could like tell the side by side like the difference that it does. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of packing it on there. I'm kind of brushing out each individual eyelash so they're not like compacted and I also go into my waterline eyelashes my bottom lashes to make it show even more I'm using this pencil but as you're seeing like it literally does nothing I got it off of Amazon I wanted to see if it would do something because I had never used it before but I feel like it didn't do anything so whatever just discard that Okay, so now I'm curling my eyelashes. Um, I don't use fake lashes, well, I because I don't have them. I'm not gonna go buy because I don't really do my makeup. As I said, I might in the future if I keep doing these videos, but I just like my natural lashes. Okay, so here. I'm trying to figure out what's going on because I'm not liking it and I figured out that I hadn't put any lipstick so I'm using a Maybelline product again this is the Maybelline Superstay I think I'm not sure what shade but I'm gonna go on top of that with the elf elf gloss it's just a clear gloss and just to make it shinier and to like spread it 
spread the lipstick on the bottom with Yeah, so the lipstick didn't really work. Um, I'm still feeling like I'm missing something. So that's why I have eight moments of self-reflection. And I decided to add more blush because I feel like it kind of faded while I was doing my eyes. And there's me trying to look for my brush. Okay. Don't mind my faces. I make some random weird faces. I literally st okay there I found it and uh, I'm just blending that in since I did have a more pinkish lips I think a uh, brighter blush makes sense so that's why I'm doing it again So here I'm thinking that I finished again, I'm analyzing the look, the final product, I'm trying to fix my hair to make it look better, but I still feel like something's missing and I finally was like, oh my gosh, what if I put like rhinestones, what if I put like diamonds? Okay, so the rhinestones are definitely it. I put them on the other eye now. I love them. They look so cute. But yeah, that's the end of the makeup look. Thank you for watching if you made it this far. I promise these videos will get better. <laughs> um, this is the first one. Thank you guys for watching. Seriously, if you made it this far. I love you. And bye-bye.